I had the uh, pleasure of, of launching this when it came uh, here first at HSN. Um, it sold out very, very quickly. It's a way to get your vegetables naturally clean. Uh, it actually uh, appeared on the national syndicated TV show, Hatched. Uh, it was invented by Maria Abraham. Let's see how she actually pitched it in the show, Hatched. And we'll be right back. Check it out. Eat Cleaner is the natural and patented line of food wash and wipes to remove up to 99.9% .9 of the pesticide residue from your fresh produce. But the real clincher here is that it helps your produce last longer. What was your inspiration for the product? I'm a mom and I'm a chef and my father's an environmental scientist. He had an idea over 35 years ago how to remove pesticide residue from fresh produce naturally. All right, and Maria is here with us today. We are so excited yes, to have you back. Congratulations back. on being back. Thank you. This is such a great product, you know, and yep. as we enter into 2017, and we're talking about health and wellness. Yes. Um, we really, one of the most important things, and we're gonna cover it all today, trust me, but yep. one of the most important things we can do is make sure that the food that we're putting into our body is the best it can possibly be. Absolutely. Not only where it's Definitely. from, how it's farmed, but how we clean that food. And you brought up a good point before we talked ahead of time, which is not just regular stores, but even stores that have organic produce. Absolutely. Who's touching all that fruits, the veggies. Hundreds this is a of way, sets of hundreds hands. of hands. <laughs> this is a way to clean it like no other way. It's a yes. patented formula. It's only $19.95. Uh, 99.9% 9 of the gunk and funk that might be on your on your fruits and veggies or whatever it is, you can yeah. get rid of by using the Eat Cleaner. Great system. It's so true. And here's the thing. You can see the difference. Yeah. You want to see a magic trick? Yeah, I, okay. I want everybody to watch the broccoli. Watch the broccoli. Okay, normally people bring their broccoli home or their produce now, and rinse it. it. Why does it do that? Why is it doing that? Because it's hydrophobic. It's scared of water. Oh, what do they put <laughs> it on? Just it's like a wax up. or something. It's, it's, it's waxed. It's treated with all types of different coatings okay. and other chemicals. Okay, so it just beads up. It's not doing anything. You take your eat cleaner. It's all natural. It doesn't change the way your food tastes or smells. Right. You spray your produce. You let it sit for two minutes. All of a sudden, look at the difference in the color. Can you right, see yeah, the difference yeah, yeah. in the color? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is deeper and greener, right? Okay. This and one's kind of chalky looking. But yeah. look at look at what happens Watch. to the water. The water just runs through. Look at so that. So you know it's actually cutting through the surface of the fruit or vegetable to really clean what's underneath. And you want it clean because it's coming into contact with all kinds of different potential contaminants. Yeah. Look at how this beads on top. I mean, that's that's the waxes and all the stuff that they put on there to protect Crazy. it. But let me tell you, this is the way to not only make your food taste better, be better for you, but it, it uh, increases the shelf life as well of your food. Take a look at these strawberries. What if I told you these were washed eight days ago? Okay, yeah, you can bring home all your produce from the store, wash it in advance, and then put it in the refrigerator and it's ready to eat when you are. Mm -hmm. And as we're getting the new year started, everybody's trying to eat better, healthier. Fruits and vegetables should be the core yeah. of what you're eating. Now you give us the wipes to go with it. Let's talk about what's in the package yes. itself. So you get the, the fruit and vegetable wash spray, mm -hmm. which you can spray everything from strawberries to uh, broccoli to leafy greens and leafy yep. greens are the number one cause of foodborne illness So you really want to make sure mm -hmm. that those are washed properly um, You get the refill concentrate which can also be used as a soak and I'll show you how to do that okay. with the grapes And then you get the biodegradable wipes which these are a staple in our house. We take them yeah. everywhere um, You can use them on your food. You can also use them on your hands or cutlery uh, It's a food grade biodegradable wipe ideal if for anybody that takes you know takes food with them to work or if you go camping Whatever it is and you don't know what's been on your food before you put it in your mouth. Oh, it's the yeah. best way to do it. I love it with the mushrooms too because you're not really supposed to get mushrooms you, wet anyway. You don't want to soak your <laughs> mushrooms because they can yeah. really become like little sponges. But look right. at that. Look at all of the gunk that we've yep. just taken off those. And when right. people tell me, are you supposed to wash your mushrooms? I'm like, please, yeah. please do. They, I mean, they're that, that's what dirt. is that? <laughs> yeah. It may be more. <laughs> I know. People think, oh yeah, it'll just mix in with the food. Now you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to scrub and wash them. Look at you're that. You're supposed to utilize this and that's how simple. What I love Yikes. too is that it's kind of a passive way to do this. You don't have to get in there with a with a bristle brush and scrub your food. You simply spray the eat cleaner on top of the food. That's all that you do. That's right. Let me tell you quickly, this is less than a $20 bill. It's the best money you will spend because let me tell you something, if you spend money on, on expensive uh, uh, produce and fruits and veggies and things like that, maybe you're spending more on going to that really good market. Absolutely. Maybe you're going to a farm market still. You have to realize 
what on, is on the farmer's hands or the people's hands that are actually di play, displaying the product. Because I will tell you, my organic market, people aren't wearing gloves in there. Oh, yeah. They are putting the food <laughs> on the shelves with their bare hands. So you're still getting other people's hands. And if you think just washing it under cold water is going to do the trick, it's not going to get rid of waxes and things like it's that. It's not, because wax is not water soluble. Right. And most of our produce is wax. In fact, all of our stone fruit is wax. Has wax so on it. So if yep. you've got peaches, nectarines, um, plums, etc., mm -hmm. those all really need to be cleaned yeah. in order to get those coatings off. And if you have something like grapes or berries or things like that, obviously you're not going to do that individually. You can spray those right. with the spray and it makes it very easy. Now you give us the concentrate too. You can use the concentrate as a soak. So all it takes is just a couple oh, of a capsules. Cap. So if you're doing something like a yeah, small grapes. Bowl, like grapes. Okay. And then you add your cold water. And, and let it soak. Let it soak for just in a bigger bowl. Two minutes. Right. And I'm going to show you what the difference is in this just really quick. Now, if I were to take my water and just give it a quick rinse. Okay. Again, you're seeing it just beat off. It's yeah, really do you, not doing anything. Right, right. It just kind of repels. Well, it is. It's 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 literally it is a wax that makes them look shiny. But it doesn't but do it. But those are not clean. No, that's they're not. That's a film that's they on there. They spray it on top of the of dirty fruit. Absolutely. Right. Now, I'm going to take this and soak it right in the water, and you're going to see a huge difference in the color. And again, you know, when you know better, you do better. And we've grown up just not really knowing. And, right. you know, my father is an environmental scientist, and when he taught me everything that our food comes into contact with, I was like, mm -hmm. wow. As a chef, I didn't really even know that, but... Yeah. It so I want you to, I don't difference. know how close we can get. Charlie's going to do a good job there, and you can see the big difference. Look at how these are actually really clean. And notice how these repel water. These are wet because there's nothing on them but the water. There's none of the chemical, the wax, the stuff that they spray on. And it's all, you know, about eye appeal. They're trying to get you to buy the oh, stuff yeah. off the shelf. But realistically, what you're looking for is textural things like that. Don't look just for shiny. Shiny doesn't mean anything. Shiny doesn't mean anything, but you know? the great thing is, is when you wash with the eat cleaner, it's actually going to make your food pop. I mean, you it, can it see will, the yeah, because the, the cloudy film gets off it. Look at the blueberries. Look at the blueberries. That's a great shot. I right mean, there. those are what you're going to want to eat Look and feed difference. your kids. <laughs> can you see the difference in those two blueberries? That is. Unbelievable. I always thought blueberries are supposed to look like that. Well, yeah, that, <laughs> that junky film on oh there gosh. isn't really very appetizing. That's and crazy. plus it helps the mouth feel. So when you eat them, it really yeah. tastes clean too. And it's all about eating more produce. The more you make it available, mm. it's mm -hmm. in your refrigerator, it's ready to mm. eat. You've got a technique, you've got a system for doing this. And it's so fast well, and, and easy. I, and I love that you did it in a spray. Because for most people, the spray is going to be so simple for them and so easy. Yeah. Um, you know, there are going to be certain fruits and veggies that maybe you want to use the wipes for. They're also great for travel. They're great for work. I take um, these but, everywhere. Oh, my gosh, you yeah. will. And, and, you know, when you think about it, it's so important. You know, I think people, people kind of just throw caution to the wind there. You know what I mean? And they're kind of like... Ah, how bad can it hurt me when they eat an apple and they don't wash it or clean it? Right. Don't realize how much stuff goes into your body. And if you do that on a regular basis, those that toxins, you're... you're they you can know. build up in your yeah. system. And there are over 48 million reported cases of foodborne illness in the U.S. Yeah. alone every yep. year. So, and if leafy greens are the number one cause, you really need to get in there. I cut the celery and wanted to show you really how much quick, dirt Maria, was in there, too. I, yeah. I only had 1,500, hundreds of you in the ordering process already. If you yeah. want these, get them home. Uh, I can tell you... For for a brand new year you know we, we have our today's special is about fitness but you know we and we, we've got lots of great things in our in our american dream show today all to help your physical body uh with the food that's coming in how you can get rid of the food cleaner all that stuff is <laughs> but it's true definitely but, but it, and you know it's so funny we we don't think about these things until people like you come along and you know the having the combination of your dad being able to help you with this as well um you being a chef and appreciating good food i grew up Absolutely. in the restaurant business for 18 yeah. years i was in it before i came into this and i will tell Hey, you know, that it's so funny. In the old days, people weren't as concerned. There was a time there in the sort of the late 70s, 80s, where people were like, whatever. Everybody was eating whatever. Everybody's whatever right. it was. Nobody, right. again, cautioned the wind. But then all of a sudden, it became very important. Organics have become, I mean, think how big organics have come. We, nobody even knew about that 25 years ago or even cared. That's right. And yeah. I was part of the industry at that time. And I will tell you, 
no matter what fad or trend comes along, the bottom line is eating a, a clean diet of fruits and vegetables sure. is key for everybody. In every diet across the board, that's what exactly. they talk about. Exactly. It's right. the common denominator. Yeah. So when you have plentiful fruits and vegetables in front of you that are appetizing, yeah. you know. Show the broccoli again yeah, yeah. for me, would you, sure. one more time? Because, and, and, and we'll start from the beginning. I know, this is always so crazy. Well, this is called Eat Cleaner, and, and what this does is this is this is a patented way, uh, a completely natural, tasteless, odorless, for you to be able to get rid of the gunk and the funk that's on your fruits and vegetables. You know, they they put wax on it, they put they treat it. Even if it's organic, it's had people's hands on it. So take a look and tell us what we're looking at here. Yeah, so normally you bring home your produce. That's and your you broccoli give it, right there. A, you know, just right from the store, you give it a quick rinse, right? Maybe not even a rinse. Some people don't even wash their produce, which I'm always like, no, don't do that. But it just beads up. It's not doing anything to right. clean. That is not clean. And what else do we wash with water alone and call clean? Nothing. Really nothing. Right. So you take your eat cleaner, just give it a quick spray. spray. It on. It, hey, look, it's so clean. You could spray it in your mouth, huh? Yeah. Look at that. She just did it. Too. I just did it. <laughs> well, it's it's it's. Remember, this is this is good for you. This is this is what's going to help your fruits and vegetables, and in turn help you. Watch the water. Look at the, look at the difference in color. Now, watch how it goes through. <clears throat> Before it repelled, right? Here's here's the other one, and I'll show you, and you can still see the water droplets on top. Which would you rather eat? Which one <laughs> looks more alive? Look at how deep and green this is. This is how it looks when it comes out of the ground. Yes. Okay, guys? This is how it looks after it's been processed and packaged. Because they, they, you know, first of all, they, they put a wax on it maybe to keep insects out. I don't even know why to they do that. To help it last longer. Right. But in reality, but it doesn't do that. It, it's, but it's coating and it's not allowing you to really clean what's under the surface. Right. And as we, you know, produce is coming from all over the world. They're trying to get it to last longer. You're going to see these wax coatings come right. up more and more. And you want to get those off. They, they're going to trap other things under the surface sure. that you don't want to and eat. You, and, you, and you can understand, you know, certain companies having to do that. If things yeah. are coming long distance, it doesn't mean you have to ingest it. Right. It doesn't mean you have to eat it. Uh, that's the whole idea. Listen, 400 people shopping with us right now. This is the way to go. This is where you should be if you've got kids uh, or grandkids or people yeah. that come over to your house to eat. Wouldn't you want to serve them the best possible fruits and vegetables that you can? Look at look at these this apples. This is wax. I've seen that on okay, apples before, this, too. This you squeeze an apple real. with a butter knife? We did, not yeah. put, we did not coat the apple with no. this. This came from the store, and this is what your apple should look like. Without right. any wax coatings, you, you just... I can't urge you enough to make sure that you clean your produce properly to avoid all of that junk and gunk. It, you know what? And it's an easy, it's an easy st a step to deal with. Take a look now. What are we looking at here? This is called the browning so effect. So what's this This is the browning effect. So because our product helps to extend shelf life, you could take an apple, cut it up for your kids. My my kids will not eat a brown apple. I don't know about yeah. yours, but no, you can funky. slice them up and spray the inside of the apple with the eat cleaner as well. Right. So it's going to help inhibit the oxidation. It's going to help them last longer. Right. I mean, eight days on washed strawberries. Come on, taste and those. Look at how beautiful these are, guys. <laughs> They're look at, amazing. Look at, the sh look at how gorgeous. Beautiful and vibrant and, these are, these and have fresh. No, there's no chemical on here. This is just the eat cleaner that we spread or that we sprayed on top of here. It makes it so simple. So whether it's blueberries or strawberries, berries or grapes or any kind of the fruit and you know fruits fresh fruits are often the most expensive things that we buy because yes. you know when you buy really good quality fruit and vegetables you spend more money on it that's why a lot of us will shop at the organic places because we want that problem uh, you know that you did you run into with organics is okay maybe they don't have preservatives on them but they've had people's hands all over they them do. and you don't know where they've been well there are all kinds of things used in organic even in a box production. They're, in a, they're in a crate hey and <laughs> and you know uh, fertilizers, manure, yeah, all right. of those. Yeah. yeah, I don't know about you. Well, they're all associated with farming, which is a good thing, but that's, that's right. not the stuff you want to put it in your mouth. It doesn't mean that you just eat it fresh from the store and right. just give it a quick, casual rinse. You want to make sure that you're washing it with a product that's lab-proven, patented, where the... Uh, we're a patented wash. Um, all of our products are environmentally friendly, so yep. you can really feel good about what you're feeding your family and that you're taking the right steps to make your food clean. I have about seven or 800 of these left with the folks online, so if you want it, I'm telling you, it's a great step for a new year. It's 2017 Get fitness. Get your kids to clean yeah. with you, too. Hey, it's easy to do. Great job, Maria. Thank Thanks you for being so here. Much.